emission society and zero emission economy. And yet you have to organize it in such a way that it is fair that you prevent energy poverty. Uh, and and that is, that's why we are proposing a whole host of measures. Uh, from extending uh, potentially the ETS system uh, to uh, looking at uh, the energy uh, consumption of, of, of buildings uh, to uh, looking at uh, the emission uh, requirements for cars, etc., etc., etc. The uh, complete overview of all these measures needs to lead to a transition that is seen objectively as fair and that everybody can do their part and that everybody can see that others are doing their part as well. Because I don't believe the issue of a transition is questioned by people. The issue of a fair transition is questioned by people. What is asked of me is that also asked of somebody else. If I'm asked to do something, is that fair in relationship to what others are asked to do? If I as consumer am doing something, what is asked of industry? Is that also fair? And we need to prove step by step that what we're asking is fair. If we can't prove that, people will not support us. About that question of fairness, I know that our colleague from Germany wants to ask as well. Uh, we're going to be joined now by Claude Anotke, uh, who is a journalist at IMS, a network of local radios in Germany. No, Claudia, you have the floor. Yeah, and thank you. Well, when it comes to the costs, it is uh, a big question over here in Germany too. So it's important for a so country as well. Let's take, for example, Switzerland, where the people just voted against the CO2 law because too expensive. Here in Germany, many, many are calling for justice. They demand for climate policy not to become a class policy. Um, on the other hand, it is quite fancy to be member of the Green Deal, but you have to have the means to be able to afford to participate. And you very often have to have knowledge
presidenta, señor presidente del Gobierno, señores diputados. Eh, permítame que vaya directamente al grano dado escasa, el caso de tiempo que disponemos en el Grupo Mixto. El plan de recuperación y resiliencia... Ya está... Aquí la inmunización mañana y noche se inicia la próxima madrugada. Muchos buscan la cita casi a cualquier hora para poder irse de vacaciones. Exactamente, nos vamos antes de vacaciones, por lo menos nos vamos a ir con un, con, con una, un pinzazo, creo, si nos ponen Pfizer, eh, que quieras que no, pues hombre, te tranquiliza bastante antes de, de irte. ¿no? Para las vacaciones y para la vida normal también, para el día a día. Pues sí, me voy la semana que viene, así aprovecho también y me voy ya con toda la pauta hecha que se quede consolidada ya para estos territorios. Para solucionar un problema estructural no podemos seguir haciendo siempre lo mismo desde las administraciones. Si no cambiamos nada, no cambiará nada. Por ello debe priorizarse. Otro ejemplo, la ejecución de infraestructura que construir en las provincias como Teruel, que siguen aisladas con déficit históricos, es decir, hay que reordenar la programación de infraestructuras, de infraestructuras en ritmos y tiempos dentro del Ministerio.